I need more bullets. Yes, I know, I haven't posted a video in two weeks. I'm working on the Accord 19 video, y'all. This gun is legit, but it's not done yet. So first of all, it's fall. Look at this, look at this. Okay, cool, so beauty shots out of the way. Yesterday, I saw something that was really crazy and really amazing. And I wanted to share with you, it's not revolutionary, it's not crazy, but it made me stop and think, and I'm like, I gotta shoot a video about this, we gotta talk about this in the comments. So, I'm gonna go to a store, and I'm gonna show you guys something, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, and it's really, it's my thoughts on how I think America's going right now. And we'll talk about it in the comments some more, right? This is gonna be a video where we need to talk in the comments. Y'all don't ever talk in the comments, you need to start talking in the comments. All right, I need to cross this, cross this road and not die. It's dark outside now, as you can see. I'm gonna go into Kava to get my wife some food. And while I'm in there, check this video out. So, this video is about Walmart and the ammo. Now, I shot a whole video about this before. I just never posted it. So, check this out, and then I'm gonna go inside and come back, and then we're gonna do an update to that. And it's a very interesting update. Okay, so Walmart is done selling ammo for short barrel rifles. I don't know what that means. Okay, so Walmart announced today that they are stopped selling ammo for pistols, short but We're not sure what they're not selling ammo for. Being me, I got curious and I immediately went to Walmart. The lady that works the outdoor sporting goods section. And I enjoy messing with her. So I immediately go in there, like, Mary, what did you do? You told on me, you told the feds. She was like, I didn't tell anyone anything. I bust, because I, I buy a lot of ammo from Walmart. She's like, I see you every week, we're friends. I'm like, you told them, didn't you? This is your fault. It's interesting though, everyone's like, yeah, so I'm done buying groceries from Walmart. And I'm just like, yeah, me too. Because I buy my groceries at Walmart. I'm done buying them from there too. So this doesn't change most people's lives that much. There are gun shops that sell ammo around the same prices. There's a Bass Pro near everybody. One main thing that this makes me realize, and I kind of, I stress this and I want to stress this again, is make sure that you have ammo you're not shooting. At least a thousand rounds of 223 and a thousand rounds of nine. That's really hard to do. So what I do is every time I went to Walmart now, somewhere else, every time that I go out or I'm out, you can just make it a, uh, weekly thing just spend ten dollars on ammo buy a small box of two two three for like six dollars and then just buy that once a week dump it in your ammo case forget about it this ammo you're not planning on shooting it you're not planning on using it but god forbid something happens where hey we're done selling ammo to civilians you have what you have have at least a thousand rounds i know some people who are they're good to train weekly for the next 60 years and still have enough to take care of six world wars, uh, that's not me. But make sure you have at least a thousand rounds, keep it stored in a good ammo container with a good seal. So why does it get into it? I put those moisture sucker thingies in it and it's good to go, but yeah, don't get caught without ammo. It's stuff's changing, stuff's moving, make sure you're ready. So, got my wife's kava. So, that was September 3rd, I believe. That's when Walmart announced that they're going to be no longer carrying specifically handgun ammunition, so 9 millimeter, 45, 380, and then AR, SBR ammo, which I'm assuming is like 300 blackout, 223, and 556, five, I don't know. But, something interesting, I did something interesting yesterday. So I, 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 I stopped buying ammo from Walmart. So I started going to Bass Pro. Bass Pro is more expensive and it sucked. But just out of curiosity, you know what? Let me show you.
as you can see, Walmart is still stocking 9mm, 223, 45, 380, 32, all of that. Talk to the guy that I know that works there, and he said basically what happened was the deal fell through. I don't know what that means, the deal fell through. It's not like Walmart was making a deal with someone else. Maybe they could have been, I don't know. So here's what I want everyone to do. Go to your local Walmart and find out if they're stocking 9 millimeter, 223, just your normal calibers that they said they're going to ban. If they are, that means Walmart put their foot down or at least ignored what all the anti-gunners said they wanted. So head to Walmart, let me know in the comments, yeah, we still have ammo, or no, they said they're not stocking here. So I can figure out if this is a real thing or if they're just really, I don't know what they're doing because they ran out and they said they weren't gonna stock anymore. I think we got some quiet non-compliance going on and I love it. All right, cool, comment below, let me know, like this video and I will catch you all in the next one. It had better be the Accord 19. If I launch another video that's not the Accord 19, I'm gonna be pissed off. Anyway, let's go.